In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a really powerful NLP tool called Logical Levels of Change. It's a really powerful tool for organizing information, for information gathering and communication, also for understanding how you and other people tick and what it is that makes the difference and what's stopping them from making the difference if they're looking to make change in their life or you're looking to make change in your life. This channel is dedicated to entrepreneurs, leaders, and ambitious professionals to live purposeful, inspired, and energized lives that they love. If you haven't already, hit subscribe click the notifications bell to be able to get our bi-weekly emails straight through to you every time they come out the logical levels of change tool is without doubt one of the most powerful NLP tools that you can use to be able to make a difference in your life and also on other people's it was originally developed by Robert Diltz and Todd Epstein and is quite often referred to as logical levels of change or neurological levels of change or neurological levels or logical levels in fact. Using the model enables you to understand what makes you or other people tick in a real clear and structured manner. Logical levels is a model that you can run on yourself or others to find out what it is that's preventing change from happening or sometimes find out what created the change to happen for yourself or for other people. So we can use it to identify if a person's having difficulty as a result of their environment, which would be a negative response to their surroundings, their behaviors, which would be adopting inappropriate physiology or actions. It could be their skills and capabilities, maybe not having the appropriate skills to do something. It could be their beliefs and having a certain negative beliefs about the issue, which is getting in their way. It could be their identity, considering that it's something that doesn't fit with their self-image. It could be their vision or purpose, so they cannot recognize how it contributes to the vision of their life. So like I say, it's a really powerful tool. The best way I'm, I'm gonna use to describe it is to give you a, a real life example of when I was able to use this myself. So a few years ago, unfortunately, my cousin died of cancer and her, final years she was looked after by an incredible hospice called St Francis Hospice and when she passed on I decided I wanted to raise some money for this particular charity and the way that I decided to do it was that I wanted to become uh, or I wanted to do a charity boxing match so what I did is I had the, the vision of doing this charity boxing match and I had the purpose of doing it, which was doing it for my, my cousin. I took on the identity of becoming a boxer, which was something that I'd never been before. I then had the belief that I was going to win this boxing match and I was gonna raise a lot of money. I then set out to upskill myself. So I went down to an incredible gym and trained with a, an ex-professional boxer called Billy Long at a gym called Box to Perm. And I learned how to box from throwing a, a jab to throwing a right to throwing a hook to, to an uppercut and worked through it over a 10 week period. My behavior was turning up at the gym on a Monday and a Tuesday and a Friday for sparring on a Sunday going, well, multiple times throughout the week going running, but at least once a week going to this particular part of Essex where there's a big staircase, a set of steps where I'd go running up and down the steps like a scene out of Rocky. That was impacting my behavior, which was therefore obviously impacting my environment in terms of where I was at and the places that I was around. And because I was in that thriving gym with great people encouraging me, it was a real positive environment for me and ultimately impacted the environment where on the 11th of December 2015 I was in East London having this boxing match in which I won by TKO in the third round so I, I just use that as an example of how I wanted to make a change and because everything aligned I was able to get the result that I wanted so I encourage you if you're not getting a change that you want right now have a look in the key areas of the the logical levels that I've just mentioned that you can see on the screen right now and ask yourself is it because I've got a vision that's aligned with what I want to do is it because I have the identity or maybe I don't have the identity is it because I don't believe that it's possible for me to go out and do what it is that I want to do or if I do do it I believe that there's going to be some negative consequences which are getting in the way or you can ask yourself is it because you simply don't have the skills and capabilities right now and therefore need to look at upskilling and, and, and becoming more capable is it because you haven't got the right environment around you with people that are supporting you and nurturing you in a way that will enable you to thrive so that's neurological levels of change or logical levels of change is one of my favorite NLP tools. Let me know what you think and if you've got any questions then post them in the comments and of course if you haven't already hit subscribe, click the notification bell so you can get other tools and tips that are going to enable you to live a purposeful and inspired and energized life and transform your excuses into results. Until next time, make it happen.